Good day, everyone! Let's talk about Region 3 and their contemporary arts and history of this region. Region 3 or Central Luzon Region 3 contains the largest plain in the country and produces most of the country's rice supply, earning itself the nickname Rice Granary of the Philippines. Its, pro its provinces are Aurora, Bataan, Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Tayalac, and Zambales. Central Luzon is a combination of towering mountains, extent and active volcanoes, lush, vendant farmlands, and natural sea harbors. It is one of the leading growth region in the Philippines, strategically located at the heart of Asia. It includes all lands area north of Manila Bay from the tip of Bataan Peninsula on the west, and all the lands north of Carabalo Mountains on the east. Located adjacent to the National Capital Region or NCR, it has benefited from the spillover from Metro Manila. History of Central Luzon Central Luzon also has its share of colorful history. Malolos, Bulacan was the place where the first constitution of an independent Philippine was promulgated on January 21, 1899. Population of Central Luzon the population of Central Luzon region on January 1, 2010 is approximately 9,793,184. Extrapolated from a population of 8,204,742 8, on May 24, 2008 and a population of 9,720,982 on February 28, 2010. The region has the highest urban population ratio 60.3% to total population. Human resources in the region are better prepared in terms of a higher participation rate at the primary and secondary levels of education. The participation rate of Central Luzon is 94.2% and 86.1% respectively as compared to the national average of 85.7% and 66.1% in school year 1992-1993. There are comparatively more non-government organizations, cooperatives, and people organizations in the re this region. The current name of the region is in reference to its position on the large island of Luzon. The term was coined by American colonialists after the defeat of the First Philippine Republic. There have been proposals to rename the current Central Luzon region into the Luzonist region. The proposed name is in reference to the old name of Luzon Island, Lucius, which was later used to refer to the central area of the island stretching from Pangasinan in the north all the way to Pampanga in the south. The, ter the term Lucius literally translates into Luzones. Princess of Central Luzon Aurora Bataan Bulacan Nueva Ecija Pampanga 
Tarlac Zambales Central Luzon's blooming cities Malolos Bulacan was the place where the first constitution of an independent Philippine was pro- promulgated on January 21, 1899. Angeles City is likewise highly urbanized city. The city of San Fernando in Pampanga is the regional center of Central Luzon. Olongapo City is likewise highly urbanized city. Tarlac province produces a lot of sugar on Hacienda Lucita. One of the biggest hacienda in the archipelago. Amazing spot of Region 3 Central Luzon. This is Mount Pinatubo. Mount Pinatubo is the most notorious for its volcanic explosivity index or VEI. Six eruption on June 15, 1991, the second largest interterrestrial eruption of 20th century after the 12, 1912 eruption of Navoropta in Alaska. The next is Mount Samat. Mount Samat was the site of the most vicious battle against the Japanese Imperial Army in 1942 during the Battle of Pataan. The scene, the scene of their last stronghold is Mount Samat, the site of Dambana na Kagitingan. The shrine was conceived as a fitting memorial to the heroic strug- struggle and sacrifices of the soldiers who fought and died in the historic bastion of freedom. Subic Bay is the bay on the west coast of the island of Luzon in the Philippines, about 100 kilometers or 62 miles northwest of Manila Bay. An extension of site of a major United States Navy facility named U.S. Naval Base Subic Bay, which is now the location of an industrial and commercial area known as the Subic Bay Freeport Zone under the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority. Today, water as well as the towns and establishments surrounding the bay are collectively referred to us as Subic Bay. Next is the great sculptural set within the grounds of a school. The sculpture is the depiction of six men discussing the term of surrender around a table. Who the men are is not the clearest when looking at the statue themselves. However, there are quite a few boards that tell you a lot about the story and details of what is happening. This is definitely worth a visit if you're around Balanga City or you are really interested in the history of the Philippines, especially World War II. History of Arts in Region 3, Central Luzon Sample of Arts in Region 3 Previously, to make it in the art world meant artists from the region making the trip to Manila. This was the case for national artist Guillermo Tolentino. Vicente Manansala and Benedicto Cabrera. Manila has always been the heart of government, industry, education, and culture. This is the group of Philippine art. As defined by art critics, historians, connoisseurs, and collectors from the Metro Manila, has had to reply largely on the talents, subjects, and style that have emerged in Central Luzon said an award-winning arts scholar in Unang Daloy, the first Central Zone Visual Arts Congress, held on October 3-4 at SM and Lahardin Resort in Baluwag, Bulacan. Unang Daloy, this art congress unifies the visual arts communities of Central Zone through progressive and developmental activities like exhibition, conference, seminar workshops, and art fairs, De Guzman said. NCCA National Committee on Visual Arts Representative Andrew de Guzman explained that the Congress provided a venue for art enthusiasts, creators, museum administrators, cultural workers, and artists to chart the growth of the creative industry in Central Luzon. Full of painting in Region 3 Aside from Cañete, heritage expert and art concerts made presentations. Lino Dizon, Vice President of Cavansa and Director of the Center for Tar- Tarlacino Studies of the Tarlac State University. Among the personalities who attended were 
Ferdi Isleta of NCCA. Bolso, President Mariano De Jesus and Emiliano Calairo, Cabanza President. Contemporary Arts of Region 3 of Central Luzon. It is Unang Daloy. It was the second day of the first Central Luzon Visual Art Congress dubbed Onang Daloy. The two days event from October 3 to 4 was spearheaded by the National Commission for Culture and Arts or NCAA in partnership with Kapisanan ng Mga Bahay Saliksikan sa Bansa Incorporated. Kabansa and the Center for Bulacan Studies of Bulacan State University. These are the example of contemporary arts in Central Luzon. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something from the video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye -bye. Good day everyone. We are <laughs> Good day everyone. Good day everyone. Everybody.